Welcome back. We are standing outside of building 87 on Hope Street, where, according to uh, Father Raul, we might find War News, whom Cortez told us to find. So let's head inside. I'm sure that going into a building owned by gangs is a brilliant idea. The elevator is out of order. It's out of order. This whole system's out of order. It's a boy. Looks to be about fifteen or so. Wouldn't it be convenient if he was war news? Can I talk to you for a minute? You know where I can find a kid named War News? Who's asking? Um, I am. Obviously. Warren Hughes. Never heard of him. What's your name? What's yours? April Ryan. Lucky you. All right, well, I guess you can't help me. Nope. Nobody can. What do you mean? A nice, pretty girl like you in a neighborhood like this, asking all the wrong questions. You're heading for some serious trouble, you know. I can take care of myself. Mm -hmm. Sure you can. The thing is, there are four guys waiting downstairs for you to come back out. And they can take care of themselves real good. Oops. Let's try to be reasonable. I'm not looking for trouble. Trouble found you, girl. What do you want from me? I should have asked you the same question, except I don't care. You should have thought twice before coming after me. After you? I didn't come... So you're Warren. What? Like you didn't know? No. Cortez told me your name, where to find you, but... Hold on. Cortez? Old Spanish talking dude. Real crazy in the head? That's Cortez, all right. That's a fair description, yeah. Shit. You're not a cop. Social services? Corporate? No, no, I'm a... a friend of Cortez. He said to look you up. I haven't seen Cortez in a while. Not since before. So what does Senior Cortez want with me? We need some help. What kind of help? Look, I gotta stay incognito most of the time now that corporates and cops are stepping up their search for us. I can't go risking my ass for nobody. Not even Cortez. That's all right. I just need some information on a group called the Vanguard and their leader, Jacob McAllen. Oh, sorry. Never heard of those guys. You wouldn't have. They keep to themselves, and they got some kind of cover operation going. But I don't know what it is, and... You want... need to find out? All right. Here's the thing. I got a friend who might be able to help you out. Great! Hold on. Before I use up my favors with him, I need you to do me a favor in return. Probably even help yourself out at the same time. Fair enough. What do I have to do? Easy. Break into the Newport Police Department computer archives. Get me some information on my family. Destroy my criminal record and get the hell out of there. Preferably alive. This got a strange definition of easy. You want me to risk my life for a personal favor? If you don't do this for me, I won't help you out. Besides, there's probably some information on the... Uh, Vanguards, was it? In the archives. And that information will be valuable to my friend if he's going to help you out. Well, it's not like we have much choice. We need his help. I'll do it. Smart decision. So here's the thing. My dad doped out on raps and seduced by commercials. Sold out our whole family to the shiny, happy colonization program for a lifetime supply of the big R. The Rapture. So that's what happened. He neglected to ask his lovely wife and children, and the corporates didn't care. One day they came to pick up my mom, my sister, and me. I got away, though. Snuck out the window. I spent the next two weeks in a dumpster. And your family? And that's just it. I don't know. Off to the colonies, of course, but which one? I don't know. Sometimes they split up families, too. 
You know, they don't tell you that in their ads. I don't give a shit about my dad, and, and my mom, she's tough. She can take care of herself, but I want my sister back. We were real tight. I'm not gonna let him use her in the mines and factories out there. So, you want me to find out where they took your sister? That's it. You're catching on. You do that for me, and delete my criminal record at the same time to get them damn corporates off my ass. I'll give you all the help you need. Well, let's see where that police station he wants us to go to is. Where's the police station? Take the subway to Metro West. You'll come out on what they call Cop Street. You'll see the NPD headquarters down the block. You can't miss it. Oh, that sound means you get a new uh, location to go to. With the subway. I'd better get going. Be cool, eh? Okay. Um, looks like April wrote something in her diary again. Interesting uh, how she does that without actually writing. Anyway, more Sunday stuff. At this rate, I'll have to get a new diary by the end of the week. Warren Hughes wasn't a bad kid at all. Just an unlucky one. He acted tough, but I could tell he was a sweetheart. Anyway, he's willing to help, but I got to do him a few favors first. I even got to play criminal. Joy. His sister and parents were sent to the colonies and he wants to find out where they went. So I have to dig tr uh, through the police archives and get a hold of whatever information I can. At the same time, while I'm in there, I should also look up Vanguard, or the Church of Voltec, which is like their cover story here in Stark. Well, we know what to do then. So let's head over to... Uh, the police station and let's do some criminal handiwork so we have a new location here now Metro West which is where Warren said the police station was another unfortunate victim of the Anglo-Pacific Wars of the 90s guess it's the 21 90s then Traffic light and a roadblock. It's your garden variety robotic roadblock. You see them all over this pothole infested town. There's a small control panel on it. The display reads 3018. It's a garbage container. And it's mostly empty, save for a couple of sticky old newspapers and bottles. What, no useful thing in the trash here? Oh well. T-Rex ad, okay. I do all my grocery shopping at T-Rex. Not that their food is particularly good, nor their price is particularly low. I just love their ads. They're tray cool. Especially the one where they built an actual sized robot dinosaur and sent it out to mangle a competing chain of grocery stores. For real. I don't know if anybody got hurt, but man, that campaign kicked ass. Okay. I guess uh, advertising got even more uh, competitive in, in the future. It's an automated garbage truck. They crisscross the town, emptying containers and running people over. Okay. It wasn't actually on screen, but apparently I was able to look at the truck. It's the truck that kept, uh, keeps going by. They seem... Uh, seems like a useful idea. Automated garbage trucks, except for the running people over part. I think there it is. The garbage truck. <laughs> 